In 30 years, the Emmy-winning daytime soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful has captivated audiences all over the country. Based in the glamorous world of Los Angeles, mm. it seems as though no one is safe from the sea of lies and deceit among the wealthy and powerful Forrester family and their rivals. Mr. Spencer and Mr. Forrester, I have to commend you for going above and beyond for protecting your family. I am well aware of the history Miss Carter has with the Forrester family. She has terrorized you for years, and it's understandable that you want to see her behind bars. Dr. Finnegan, I can only imagine how difficult this must be for you to see your mother in handcuffs, and I sympathize with you and your family for the pain she's caused you as well. Okay, well, Holy smokes. court is back in session <laughs> with a familiar face to lay down the law and decide the fate of a major court proceeding. Longtime soap opera veteran Michael Corbett is returning to CBS Daytime in the Bold <laughs> and the Beautiful to reprise his role as Judge Evan Scott. And he's no stranger to the daytime drama scene. No, no, no. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to try not to. Fans were quick to recognize Corbett as the unmistakable face of elusive criminal David Kimball in another popular daytime TV drama, The Young and the Restless. His character is best remembered for a killer ah. plastic surgery job that left him with a scarred confession across his forehead. Dios mío. And that begs the question, will Judge Evan Scott stay on the side of justice? Or is there more to the story that is yet to be revealed? So to answer all of our burning questions mm -hmm. right now, joining us live to spill the tea is Emmy-winning actor extraordinaire Michael Corbett. Welcome to New York Living, sir. Well, thank you. My pleasure to be here. It is so spectacular watching those clips and seeing how you just, you transform, you morph <laughs> in and out of these characters. But I want to know first, how did you react to the call about returning to the bold and the beautiful? Uh, you know, honestly, it was sort of surprising. I got my agent called and he said, hey, congratulations, you're going back to daytime. And I went, oh my God, they're bringing David Kimball back on Young and the Rest. And he went, nope. Nope, you're going on with Bold and the Beautiful. <laughs> nope. For me, is fantastic because it's still the Bell family. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's still um, all the people that I know, all the people that I've worked with. Um, it's sort of like going back to the same family, but uh, they're so talented and so great in, in writing and coming up with complicated stories. I was like, yeah, just tell me where to be and, and when to show up. Where to be and what to show up. I in love the, this. In this clip, you have a personal friend of mine, Torsten Kayon, and he made his mark in One Life to Live. I like when you guys switch around. I love it, too. It, it, it's it, so fascinating I feel like me. the viewers know something, mm -hmm, like we're in on mm -hmm. something. It really pulls you in. Uh, so, okay, so tell us, how is Judge Scott making his return mm -hmm. and uh, a little bit about the case that he's on? Uh, the, the big case that's being decided is one for, uh, it's a very pivotal case for uh, Sheila, mm. who is you know, sort of the resident villain there, uh, Kimberly Brown, who is so lovely to work with. Um, and I get to have the final say on this. Oh. So he comes in, the judge comes in at a very pivotal time in her fate. And tomorrow and Monday, we'll find out exactly what her fate is. Mm -hmm. Dios mio. So there are a lot of fan conspiracies out there. Many people think oh, yeah. that, ju that Judge Scott is actually David Kimball in disguise and is coming back to seek revenge. Counselor, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, you know what? Here's the magic of being on Dave. <laughs> we as actors have no I idea. knew he was no, going to say that. Sir. No, no, I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. we, really, we really don't. It's one of the wonderful things that I've loved. I've been on daytime for decades. And one of the things that's so wonderful about it is that we don't know. Um, we get the script and we go, oh my God, is that what's oh. happening? You know, but um, I've heard that before. And that's, the, that's to me one of the best things about soaps is because, and I've heard that, that, that they don't know until the moment. And, and then, then because even if you did know it, would you believe it? Because they're just so, right, the, the things that happen are just so crazy and they're just like, they suck you in. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a ride. Yeah, it is. It's as much of a ride for the actor as it is for the viewer because we really don't know. I mean, you know, of course I have some ideas and we try to read into, you know, read between mm -hmm. the lines. Say, mm, who have I got? Oh, I'm having a relationship with, oh, I have an opinion about that person. Uh -huh. Oh, you try to feed into that. Uh, but we don't know. I have no idea. So, Michael, let me ask you something. What if the what if you find out a, a scene has changed? You realize your fate. 
you get a script. Are you a good memorizer? Because how many lines of script are you having to like say, OK, they just changed the script, blah, blah, blah. let's go. Well, they don't necessarily change it at the last minute anymore. Okay. And they, back in the old days, there were a lot of the old days. <laughs> um, <laughs> back when I was on Ryan's Hope, back in the old Not days. Not Ryan's Hope and oh Edge of Night. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Ryan's Hope, yeah. We would, they would make changes at the last minute. Sometimes there's cuts and a few changes. Yeah. But generally, you, you just get your script a few days before. Oh, OK. So in this, you know, my first episode, I had the, like this five-page monologue. Oh, my um, gosh. You just learn it. You, okay. you know, you, All right. you just you learn just how learn to it The way that you study for AP U.S. history. That's uh, just yeah. how it is. I just, I can't even imagine. Yeah. That's a lot. Uh, but so even during your time away from soaps, you've been a busy mm -hmm. base. So tell us everything you've been up to. And we, we obviously owe you a congratulations on the Emmy, Emmy nomination for Life After Death with Tyler Henry. Hello. Yes, uh, and I've been very fortunate uh, ever since Ryan Soap. I've been one of the hosts and and uh, supervising producers on Extras, Mansions, and Millionaires. So I've been mm -hmm. a correspondent on Extra for many years, and I travel all around the world. Um, and then I also am uh, executive producer and, and one of the creators on Life After Death with Tyler Henry on Netflix, because I was executive producing his series on E! for many mm -hmm. years. Huh. So it's a, that's a real journey and a real. Does a he real give you life. readings? Has Can't he imagine. read you? Yeah. Oh, that's look at the that! Way I first when I first met him, he was a young kid, and I someone introduced me. Said, "Hey, he talks to the dead." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay, right." <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, and he gave me a reading, and blew me away. And I said, "Oh my God, I got to create a TV show for this kid." Wow. And he did. Um, so it's been pretty remarkable. So he was spot on. When he read you. 100%. Wow. 100%. Yeah, okay. it's crazy. Unbelievable. You started your career You started your career on Broadway and just last year starred in the Broadway play Remembering the Future. What do you love most about the, the, the Great White Way? Oh, boy. You know, when you, when you kind of start your career in musical theater on Broadway, it never really leaves you. Mm. So, uh, you know, I hope to go back and do that again. Uh, I, at the time, I was doing Ryan's Hope, and I was doing, I think it was Grease oh, um, in New York at the same time, and that was a, a crazy, a crazy time. But uh, you do it all, you know, in sequentially. Sure. Mm -hmm. So someday I'll go back and do another, another Broadway show. That was going to be our oh. next question for you. <laughs> all righty. Well, that is something we all have look, to look forward to. That's right. And you at home, this is what you can look forward to. You can catch Michael Corbett on The Bolt and the Beautiful as Judge Scott Evans tomorrow and Monday yep. at 1.30 p.m. on CBS. Thank you, Michael. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you.